Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is look at the three different types of solutions that you can get for linear equations. You have type 1, type 2, and type 3. First one is 3x minus 2 equals 7. The second type is 2x minus 3 equals 2x. And then you have for type 3, 4x plus 5 equals 4x plus 5. So if you would, pause the video and try to do these ones on your own and see what you get. All right, so hopefully you tried them. They're not that bad. All right, so the first one, what you're gonna do first is you're gonna add two to both sides, right? You wanna do the opposite, right? So it's minus two, so you would add two. So you add two to both sides, that cancels, that leaves you with 3x equals nine, divide both sides by three, because the opposite of multiplication is division. Whenever you have a number right next to a variable, it's multiplication. So that cancels, and nine over three is three. Now this is the first type and the most common type, and it's called conditional. because it's only true when x is this. When x is something else, it's false. So if x is 2, 1, 4, whatever, if it's not 3, it's false. So it's conditional, which means that there's one solution. And your answer is going to look something like this, x equals 2, x equals some number, something like that. All right, so when you do type number two, I'm gonna move this two x over the other side. So I subtract two x from both sides because the opposite of a positive is a negative. So you do that, the two x minus two x cancels, that leaves you with negative three equals zero. Now is that true or false? The answer is false. So since it's false, this is a contradiction. Which means that there's no solution. So when you do a linear equation and the x's turn out to cancel out and one side does not equal the other side, well you have a contradiction and that means that there's no solution. Now, let's look at type number three. I'm gonna subtract both sides by four x. When I do that, the four x's cancel out. So that cancels, that cancels. That leaves me with five equals five. You can stop there. Once you realize that both sides are equal, you know, five equals five, or zero equals zero, or one million equals one million, <coughs> when both sides are equal to each other, that type is called identity. And since it's, it's the third type, which is identity, that means that there's infinitely many solutions. or all real numbers. So let me just write this here. You can write this as no solution or as the empty set. Here, there's many solutions. You can use all real numbers, which is this symbol, or if, you know, from negative infinity to positive infinity. So you can even use, you know, interval notation if you want to. Usually what satisfies in this stage, one solution, no solution, or many solutions. But it's kind of up to your teacher. And well, that's it.